Welcome to another NUSIDA training session in which I am going to talk about exploratory testing, and you are going to see a full product walkthrough of the X-Ray Exploratory app. So let's jump right into the agenda. First, I will show why exploratory testing is important. Then we're going to find out how exploratory testing is different from scripted testing and what are the ways to introduce exploratory testing into your testing process. Then I will show you the different ways how to use the X-Ray Exploratory app. We all know that delivering quality software is complicated. It's not just to write code, test, and deploy at the end. In fact, we plan, write, execute, and report thousands of tests each week to ensure that every release has the highest quality. Sometimes, though, testing becomes too bureaucratic. Relying on scripted tests only scratches the surface. We start seeing product inconsistencies, users report major issues even though all tests have passed and we feel that our test cases are useless. We always hear the motto, automate everything. While scripted tests are good for basic requirements, we should not only rely on them. If we combine them with exploratory testing, that is when we take everything to another level. Exploratory testing frames the work to get into that true quality. It's like stepping outside the scripted box and seeing all the opportunities, potential risks, and the side effects that hide inside your software to take advantage of all that. You only need creativity and curiosity. So what exactly is exploratory testing? Well, it's a testing approach in which you explore the application to see how it performs under different scenarios using your knowledge, experience, and imagination, contrary to scripted testing. We are simultaneously creating test design and test execution and with every iteration we learn, and we adjust our steps accordingly. Instead of having designed test cases with detailed test steps to follow in exploratory testing, we are jumping right into the systems with a test goal, and we perform the necessary steps to achieve. In this case, we are testing without pre-existing requirements, test specifications, or even detailed test case documentation. We are focusing on the unknown and the sessions inside are directing us. Exploratory testing can be introduced in any stage of the testing process and it's a great fit for both agile and document-related software development life cycles because it's extremely flexible and requires minimum upfront preparation. You can introduce exploratory testing by exploring early iterations of the product to generate ideas for future tests or identify gaps and opportunities in the product. You can also use exploratory testing to review the product from the user's point of view or perform user acceptance testing. Furthermore, it's also great to help you understanding the product better and grow as an experienced tester. And it's a great opportunity also to generate ideas for automation scripts. With exploratory testing you can test feature branches before and after merge. And it's a great way to involve stakeholders in the testing process, so you promote the culture of quality. You can achieve great results under any conditions and for exploratory testing, all you need is creativity and imagination. But you often need tools to document your exploratory sessions and report your findings, and for that the toolbox for exploratory testing contains fragmented tools that only interrupt the workflow and make the reporting difficult to you many times. This ends up spending more time in documentation rather than testing or you fail to document well enough, and you lose ideas, evidences, and great insights that you find during your session. That is why X-Ray created the Exploratory app. It's a testing companion that helps us stay focused on exploring, eases the documentation, and note-taking tasks, so it makes it very easy to share your findings with your team. It's a Windows, Mac, and Linux app and it has a native integration with Jira and X-Ray. You have all the recording you need and at the end of your session you can see a report and an activity timeline. Now, I will show and explain you the X-Ray Exploratory app. This is how it looks when you open it. I'm going to open here the app settings of the application just to make a quick note on the available modes. First, we can use the application in the standalone mode. In this mode you can collect several evidences of your tests like screenshots, videos, audios, notes, and you can save that session and export it to a zip or PDF file where you read the test report with its linked evidences by using the respective tools. 
The other way of connecting exploratory application is to Jira instance that doesn't have X-Ray installed and the difference from the previous mode is that you can create Jira issues from the exploratory app. For example, you can create bugs or any other kind of issue that you have configured in Jira. And finally the third mode that I am going to demo here represents the full integration of the X-Ray exploratory app with the Jira and the X-Ray which brings you the real power from this new X-Ray add-on, because you can execute X-Ray generic tests and manual tests, which reside in the JIRA database. Besides of that, you can create the X-Ray issue types test, test execution, and test run. You can upload videos or other type of evidences to a test. You can create and map defects and upload the test evidences and the session PDF report to a test. So in this demo I will divide this demo in two parts. In the first part I'm going to make an exploratory test session on the website to show capabilities of exploratory app and its integration with X-Ray and in the second part one I'm going to use exploratory app to execute a manual predefined X-Ray test, which is stored in Jira. So let's go for it. We are now going to make an exploratory test session testing in Splend website, the awesome X-Ray enterprise marketing website. So to do it, I'm going to open or create a new session on the X-Ray Exploratory app. So what we have here? We have one section of the application called Test and the other is called Timeline. In the Test tab, I'm going to define the details of our session in Testing and in Timeline tab. All the evidences will be in a chronological way as we take them like screenshots, videos, audios, and notes. So for the test I have created here a project named X-Ray Enterprise Marketing Site. It is a project that has some user stories that hypothetically were used to create the mentioned marketing website and here I'm going to select that project X-Ray Enterprise Marketing Site. So what else do we have here? We have here the summary which basically will be the name of our session that will be transposed to a testing x-ray. So it will be marketing website user testing. And we have here a counter for time box sessions. I'm not going to use it now, but I could here define some duration of our test session. We'll use it as generic and the shorter the test definition. We have here the suggestion for a format that is used in the extraordinary testing community, but I am here going to pass one that I have prepared. So explore marketing websites using Chrome to discover potential problems and improvements. So what else? We need a test execution because we are connected to X-Ray. So, the possibilities here is that I reuse a test execution, or I create another one. So it can be this one. I will let this name as it is, and we could also use preconditions if we define them in X-Ray. We will not use this feature, so we leave it empty. And for the requirements I am going to associate this with some requirements because it's like I am going to apply this session to tests and requirements. So I'm going to choose the first one like try X-Ray Enterprise and I will add another one which is named as X-Ray Enterprise Pricing Calculator, OK. I could also associate the test execution to a test plan, but it will not be the case. So now I am ready to start my session. So when I start the session it's asking me if I want to create the X-Ray issues now or later. I'm going to choose to create them now. So it will create a test, create a test execution, and set the test run status. So if I refresh here, what do we have? 
We have the test that is linked to the requirements I have chosen and the test execution. In fact, it will be on the status of execution. When I start the session, the application asks me which screen or window I want to choose when I grab screens and record videos. So I'm going to choose this screen tool to ease my test documentation. We are ready to go to our session. In this site, which resides in the test environment, I have provoked some errors so that I can illustrate the features of the exploratory application, but these mentioned bugs don't exist on the website at the productive environment. Let's scroll. So what we have here. Now we see some benefits of using X-Ray Enterprise. We have the type of support you get when you buy X-Ray Enterprise. So we have here a problem. I'm going to grab a screenshot. I took a screenshot and I am going to crop it. So I just get what I need and grab this part. I am going to draw a rectangle around the problem, add an arrow, pointing to hit and I'm going to provide here some description for the person who will see this report. So enterprise is misspelled. Actually, this is a bug, so I want to have the defect. Because I am working with the X-Ray Exploratory app with the X-Ray instance, X-Ray asks if I want to link to an existing defect or create a new one. I'm going to choose to create a new one and give a quick summary. I write in the bug title field, X-Ray Enterprise misspelled, and X-Ray is going to create the bug in Jira. So we can go to Jira, refresh the screen, and here we have the bug which is created with the attached screenshot evidence. We just take in what happened here in the timeline. So in the timeline we have the screenshot, too. Now, a bug was created, and we can proceed with our testing. We have here a study of the economical impact effects rate, some links to documentation, blog, resources, and a pricing calculator. So let's see how this works well. I see these are the number of users. It sounds to have some problems with some entries here. I think for this one I'm going to record a video because it's easier to explain. Thus, I open it again and I see that there are two entries for 10,000 users. I believe this one is for 1,000 users in the last entry. In fact it sounds like the intention here. That means two entries representing the same user range. It should be one for 100,000 and one entry for unlimited users. Now. I can stop recording and I have here a preview of the recorded video. I can crop this video, modify the start and end of the video, and add some description to the evidence like there are two entries or 10,000 users and the last two entries are just one. Again, this is a defect. Therefore, I am creating a defect and providing here a summary like, number of users in the pricing calculator as wrong entries. Okay, it will also create a bug in here. Here, the video was added, the bug was also created, and added to the timeline. So what else can we see? Well, it seems that the site is very well constructed. So what I am going to show you now is the minimized mode of the application. 
As you can see it just comes to this small bar where you can pause the session. Stop it and collect the evidences that you can collect when the application is maximized. For the moment I am going to grab here a note and write a short note-like site. Very well structured and objective. So, this is a note. We have several types of notes like comment, problems, suggestion, idea, question, concern, and positive. I will put this one as positive and save it. As you see, I could continue to grab more evidences. But let's come back to the maximized mode of the application. Our created note was added here to the timeline. I'm going to minimize this window again to have here a full view of the screen when we end the session. So on the left side we have the timeline. In fact, I can change the order of things in the timeline. For example, I'm going to move this note before I took the video. Why not, you can adjust your sequence of the timeline items. I want to create a report now where this note comes first. Concerning the evidences, I can delete them, attach them to x-ray issues or bugs, and download them to a local drive. Of course, I can also reset, resume, or create a session. Or I just open another session. Here in the middle I can re-edit the things like, for example, in the case of the screenshot I can make changes. On the right side, I have the issues that are associated to the project, the test runs, and the test itself. I can also change the status of the test. Due to bugs I'm going to put this as failed. Besides of that, I can export the session report as a zip file and as a PDF file where I can find the evidences. By submitting this test run, X-Ray Exploratory app will upload the evidences and the test report to a X-Ray test run and associate it with the test execution that we have. The uploading may take a while. So let's look in what happened to our Jira instance. This is the other bug that we have created. Let's go to the test execution. Here the test failed. We can go to the test run to see what has been attached here and we will see the start time, end time, from who executed the test, and the test status. So what were the findings? We have here two defects, one with the pricing calculator and another one with the typo in the word enterprise. We have here the screenshot, the video, and these are the test session reports. Additional to that, we have here the comments that have been made on the screenshot as well as on the video and our documented note. Concerning the test details, we have the two linked bugs and the two requirements or user stories that we said to be related with this test session and the definition of the test session. So the activity is documented here whatever we have done during the session. We changed the status and these evidences that we collected. Let's just go up here to the report that I want to show you. So, in the report we have the project where we worked, the instance, the status, the issues that were created, the requirements we were testing and the evidences on the timeline like the screenshot, the creation of the first bug, the video, and the second bug. In fact, the note is here, remember that I changed the order to be before the video and here it is a nice report that can be used to supply to your team. This was the demo for testing a website using a generic test case. Do you like this video? So give this video a thumbs up and subscribe the channel to get more helpful insights about software testing.
I am going to demo how to use the X-Ray Exploratory app to execute a manual test case. For that, I have prepared here a project in our X-Ray instance named X-Ray Exploratory App Marketing Site, where we have here this user story, which says that as a user I want to download X-Ray Exploratory App so that I can make exploratory test sessions. To test this user story here, I built this manual test case. It's a test case that tests the process of subscribing to download the X-Ray Exploratory app. And as we see here in the test details, this test case has five steps. So, the format is typical for manual X-Ray test cases. We have here the action, the data, the expected results, and in some of them like this first step I have attached a picture. By the way, you can customize the data mask by adding further attributes to write even more detailed test cases. Please see our other Nusida training session about how to customize X-Ray to learn more about that. This test case documentation will be a guide for who is executing the test. How to execute a manual test case from X-Ray in the exploratory app. We are going to test runs. This test hasn't been executed yet and I'm going to say execute in exploratory app, so it will create the test execution. It will be named like this, and I choose, Execute with Exploratory App. Here, I click, Execute with Exploratory App, and it opens the respective dialog. I'm going to move it here so that we can see the windows side by side with the definition that we have here in Jira. We will have this test run which is this one here and this is the test. The summary in fact is the name of the test case. The description is the description given here in our test. So it tests the process of subscribing to download X-Ray Exploratory app. Within this test, we can set a time box limit, but I will not use it in this demo. It is a manual test type and here it says, which is the execution issue, and the requirements we are going to test, because it is related with this user story. We also have a timeline where we are going to have the evidences that we can collect along the session and we have here a new tab which is steps and in these steps tab we have here the test details that we are going to execute. These are the same that I defined here in the test case issue. So we have five test steps. Let's start executing it. I'm going to select this current screen to save things that we may collect and let's go forward to the first step. So it says here, open X-Ray marketing website. So I'm going to open it here. We have the expected result, X-Ray marketing website opens and has products option in the navigation. In this step, we have here the attachment that we have it also here. So I am going to open it and it will work as a guidance for the person that is executing the test. So if I open it, the attachment shows an image of the product entry page that is being referred on the step. So no deviation is detected, and I can mark this test step as passed. Assumed we would get a different result, here is button where you can add the actual result. But again, we confirm the expected result and mark this step as passed. So let's jump to the step 2 explaining, open X-Ray exploratory testing under products option. I'm going to open and what is the expected result? The expected result is that X-Ray Exploratory App Marketing Site opens. So this is the Exploratory App Marketing Site. And you see that for each of the steps I can collect evidences like videos, audio, screenshots and notes. So I'm going to take here a screenshot just as evidence that we got the right result. I'm going to crop it here and put here a comment like, the exploratory app marketing site page opened, and I'm going to save it. At this moment I have here a finding which is the collected screenshot confirming the expected result, and I'm going to mark it as pass. Let's go to the next step. Click on download now button. So I'm going to click, and it says that a form to fill data is displayed. That's correct. But here maybe I will give a suggestion. So I'm going to put here a note saying that maybe we can have an additional field to input the job title. So this is a suggestion to have an additional field called job title in this data mask when filling it. I'm going to save it. And here we have a finding of type note, 
but in fact the step is passed. So next step I'm going to fill the form with data. The first name would be John, John's last name should be Doe. And I'm going to use this email as registration. The company name would be Splend. And John Doe should live in Portugal. So by the end check, agree and submit the form and the user is informed that download information was sent to his email. So for example here I can also put another evidence of this message. Going to crop it, note here like, user was informed, and save it. So another finding, and I will mark this as passed. Let's go for the last step to check if download for Windows works. Thus, I go to the inbox specified in the previous step. So I'm going to open here the respective mailbox and refresh it. Let's see if the email arrives in time. In the meantime, there is no sign of email. Well, it sounds like there is no email. Therefore, I'm going to mark this test step as failed and say here in the actual result that no mail was received. And yes, this execution of this step is finished, so it didn't pass this last step, and I am going to end the session. I'm going to minimize this window to see the evidences in our timeline. As you can see the timeline is divided by steps and it is visible what happens in each of the steps. And from here, what can I do? I can reset, resume, create a session, or open another session in the middle. On the right side, I have the issues created and the test status. From here, I can submit the test run. So, I'm going to submit it. Now, it's uploading the report to our Jira with X-Ray instance, separating the status so everything is complete. So let's have a look into Jira. We have here the test execution with the failed test. We can look to the test run. We will see here the details of this session. This is the execution status, which is failed. This is the time that passed whilst the test execution. We have here several evidences. We have two screenshots in the report. Below of that, there are the test details with the description and one test issue link. It is linked to one requirement. Then we have here the more detailed execution information of the test steps. For example, for this first pass step we have the attachment, the second one is also passed with the collected screenshot and the same for the other steps until the last one, which is failed because we didn't receive the email to download the Windows build. Again, the overall test result is failed. The expected result is that the installer could be downloaded, and this didn't happen. So this is the summary for the manual test execution. I hope you find this training session very useful. If you like, please give this video a thumbs up, and see you next time.